These Hot Idiots is a podcast featuring our hosts, two full-grown adult men. Together, they watch teen drama and young adult-oriented television shows one episode at a time. These Hot Idiots is a comedy podcast and isn't meant to be taken as real criticism. This podcast uses adult language. Listener discretion is advised. I don't know how many weeks we've been doing this, but we're back. What is this episode? Back. Like? What is this, like, episode 19? This is episode uh, 18, in fact. Of Vampire Diaries. Of Vampire Diaries, yes, yeah, sorry. Episode 19 this is... of this. Yes, correct, correct. I, I, I forgot about Twilight. I like I to like forget to about that. Twilight, too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to these Hottie. It's episode 19. Ash he's, and Mega. He's he's Mega. <laughs> he's Ash. I'm still getting over a cold. Sorry. <laughs> he's getting over a cold. He's you've been doing all right. For yeah, the just sometimes I'll get just like a giant mass of boogers, <laughs> and oh, then I have to like get cool. rid of them as discreetly as possible. Yeah, just blast blast them right out of your nose. This episode was less action heavy, but it was just kind of weird, honestly. <laughs> it was kind of weird. It started out a bit slow, and then just some insanity happened. Some, like, not the, like, everything gets action packed, but it's just, like, a lot of shit. A lot, a lot of, of shit contrived happened. shit, honestly. <laughs> a lot of contrived shit, yeah. So we start episode 18 under control, and Stefan's doing exercise. Because pull he's, ups and sit ups. He's doing pull ups and push ups and sit ups because he's on the come down from the blood oh, that no, he you drank. Push ups, you're right. I, I, he didn't do any sit ups, just the push ups. And he's playing butt rock as loud as possible. And David's just like, What is this shit? Can you please turn it down? <laughs> and he's, he's like chiding. He's like chiding Stefan almost. It's like, it's, You can drink a little blood. Come on, man. It's no big deal. Like, I've known you for a hundred years, and this has never gone wrong before. Come on, man. Moderation, dude. Moderation's real good for you. And he's, like, waving a glass of blood around the whole time. And then he looks at the blood, and he's like, hmm. But he's like, no, and also, I can't. Just, uh, gonna be a little weird here, but I gotta say, it's Stefan's hotter than Edward. Dude, he's fucking buff this episode. I don't know what happened. <laughs> He's super buff. Like, I don't know what he did in like the fucking three weeks since I last saw him shirtless. Right, He's... like Paul Wesley apparently just kind of hit the gym. I guess I guess when you do have to do most of the stunt work yourself, maybe. I don't know if he does a lot of stunt work himself. Well, a lot of the least. stunt work is like speed, zoomy speed. Yeah. Like yeah, it's sped up know. mode. But yeah, Damon maybe, leaves a maybe... cup of blood and then he comes back and get it. And it's like, haha, oops. Oh, no. It's and, like... Stefan's, or Stefan's being tempted here. Jenna is seeing off Elena because I think she's going to school. And she mentions that her Uncle John is showing up. And who the fuck is John? And then they open the door and uh, Uncle John's there. And uh, he ha he's kind of like a tall guy with fairish hair and a receding hairline. He looks vaguely like... Up slightly. He looks vaguely like Neil Patrick Harris. And... You want to know something very interesting? What? Uh, the actor is currently 41. Currently 41. So Wait. When he was on the show, he was in his mid to late 20s. He was in it fucking... Was, that hairline went to like shit. That hairline went to shit. <laughs> but that's crazy because, like, Nina Dobrev is, like, 19 right now. Well... Uh, or 19 in the show. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an uncle to, like, people that are already in their 20s so it's not but the... no it's more the fact that he was like what in his 20s you'd say 27 well uh, yeah i would say he would probably be 26 or 27 in this episode 27 and nina dobrev was like 19 so it's <laughs> yeah just uncle john and john uncle just john. talks about oh like how's jeremy doing and he talks about how he doesn't want Jeremy and Elena to get the Gilbert family office because technically he still has the estate after his uh, brother died, who is Elena's father, I believe. I think this, I think that's their relation because John admits to like having sex with Jenna. 
So John is uh, Elena's dad's brother. Yeah. Yeah, and I think Jenna's Elena's mom's sister. Yeah, because she's Jenna Summers and he's John Gilbert. Okay. And I guess yeah. At some point they may have fucked, or maybe that was a joke. But they, she also, I, but he admits that know. in front of Jeremy, it's weird. It, he said in front of Jeremy, and it's weird. Uh, at school, Elena talks to Matt about how they just sort of had Vicky's fucking wake off screen. <laughs> they just had the they had the service for Vicky off screen. They just had her service off screen and didn't even like talk about it or anything. And that's fucking that's Jeremy's weird. sulking and like he turns down some derg from Tyler because he's just big he's, sad. He's, and he's hey, like, he, Tyler offers him a spliff, but he's like, Nah, man, I'm I'm about that. I'm about that uh, Tylenol. That's all, all my, about, that's my. <laughs> I'm all I'm all about that Excedrin. Also, why did I'm, they? I'm bar- why did? Why was Barry? Why was Vicky buried alive if she overdosed? What? That's weird. Yeah, wait, alive. <laughs> why was she buried dead, not alive? Yeah. It's like, why was Vicky buried by some guy? Why was she just buried out in the woods? And it's like, why? well, she probably died in the woods because of an overdose, man. And it's like, yeah, but yeah, then but why like, was she why, buried? Who buried her? And it's like maybe they freaked out and just sort of buried her body. You don't know, man. Yeah, maybe like, she found that's, something. That's weird. That's weird. So uh, Damon sort of sneaks on to the uh, to like a open council meeting with Sheriff Forbes and John's there. Yeah, because he's a founder. Yeah, because the Gilberts a, he's a, are founders. He's a Gilbert, and they're talking about like, oh, we we track the blood banks and stuff to here within like a 50, 75 mile radius. So we know that like. There are still vampires around, and David just does the side eye. Elena, He's... like, goes to talk to Alaric Saltzman about Jeremy and him acting weird and just talking about, like, oh, uh, he might be, you know, he might be onto the vampire thing because, like, look at this essay he made. It's about vampires. And she's like, he doesn't know about vampires. What are you talking about? Like, I've been trying to keep this from him. He's trying to protect him from it, and it's like, man, you suck at that, You're Elena. not doing a good job. <laughs> you, you, you are not doing a good job at all. No. And, it, and then they have to get ready for yet another Founders Party. <laughs> another one. And I went back. It was, I, I spent a good chunk of time looking for the wiki, and it, and it was like, it was episode four where we had another Founders Party. This one is but the city's the... founding Founders Day kickoff party. And the other one and, was the Founders Party... And Heritage Display. And Heritage Display. You're just making excuses to drink. I don't... I don't. That's really it. It's the excuses to drink party. Like, why are all these... Why are these parties the fucking same? <laughs> How long is it, has it been since the last Founders Party? I don't know. How long has it been in in the story? Like, are we in, like, real time? Because if then, it's been, like, three months, maybe? (laughs) Let's see. Founders Party and Heritage. uh, Founders Party and Heritage. Would that be, like, October? (laughs) September 24th, 2009 for the first one. And this one is... This is January 30th, 2010. Is that the air date of the episode, or is that... I don't know. No, 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 no. Okay, so no, that isn't the air date of the episode. So yeah, this is September, and or the la- the first episode four was in September, and this episode is set in January. We skipped uh, Christmas. There was no Christmas episode, I guess. There's no Christmas episode. You, you gotta Christmas have a vampire fucking... Christmas. Come on, man. <laughs> there better be. We got like how many seasons? Like we got seven, eight nine? seasons. Eight and there better be there a better vampire be a... Christmas episode. There I swear to be. God. I swear to God. Like, I know I'm usually not about Christmas all the time, all the all over and taken over with, like, I'm hey. seeing Christmas stuff sold in October. But if just we could one. have a vampire Christmas Thanksgiving dinner, I will be over the fucking moon. <laughs> If we get a Vampire Christmas episode, a Vampire Diaries Christmas special, I'll be so happy. That's just, okay. I could imagine how trashy the fucking CW advertisers is like, Deck the halls with Stephen. And he's like wearing a hat. Or like, Deck the or, halls in blood. Deck the halls in blood. 
And then, like, it's just a regular episode of Vampire Diaries, but they put, like, snowflakes over the top of it. <laughs> and there's, like, really weird... And there's, like, big... Or- there's, like, those big ornaments hanging on the sides. And Nina... And fucking uh, Nina Dobrev's just like, ah, Christmas. That's so weird. And Steph was like, yeah. <laughs> and I, was, I called her fucking Nina. No, Elena. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, Elena. Oh, yeah, you, you just called her by the actress's name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Things are getting very Christmassy here at the Salvatore house. And... <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a, I got an idea. <laughs> what like, if we could get ChatGPT to just randomly generate a Vampire Diaries Christmas episode? On it. On it. <laughs> we'll make that like we'll make that like a special for when we do for when December rolls around. <laughs> right? A Vampire Diaries Christmas episode. <laughs> Are you doing it right now? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, it's writing the whole script. <laughs> Are you ready for a tangent? <laughs> oh my god. Opening scene, Salvatore boarding house, living room, night. The Salvatore boarding house is a beautiful decorated for Christmas. Twinkling lights, a large tree adorned with ornaments, a roaring fire in the sal- fireplace. David Salvatore, Stephen Salvatore, Elena Gilbert, and the rest of the gang are gathered for a Christmas. So- okay, I can't do this. <laughs> oh, this one, this one has Kai, who's like a late game like antagonist in mine. We Why can't do that? That's spoilers. You can't do that, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> okay, we might oh actually do this for Christmas. We might make a special. And leave a comment if you want us to do a special Christmas episode. AI generated of... vampire Christmas episode. Vampire Diaries Christmas. We will do it if you guys want it. You folks want this. So, uh, Stefan's trying to comfort Elena about Jeremy and his grief. And Megafighter just sort of mentioned they stopped going to the football team. <laughs> at, they, at some point, I realized, like, there's no football. No more football. I don't football. know what brought this on, but there's no football anymore. That was like the entire basis of episode three. Was, <laughs> yeah. Was Steph enjoying the football team. It's like, we haven't had... I think it's because they call it the Founders Day kickoff party that my brain realized there's no foot. There's not been football in a while. Did they just stop playing football after that coach died? <laughs> yeah. Anytime. Is that, is that what anywhere. shuttered the entire... Football's canceled. <laughs> Did they did they just kill the football team? This is the first time I've ever heard of a heard no, of a fucking. You know they get intimate, and then they start kissing. But like Stefan gets like aggressive, and like the vampire stuff kicks in. And then he jitters he so hard. He jitters so hard. He fucking back flies backwards into a wall. Yeah, he does the Edward leap, as I call it. And then <laughs> flies backwards, but unlike the Edward leap, he just like fucking slams into this wall. He just. He just eats wall. He just <laughs> eats that wall. And Elena's right, like, thinking, oh no, what? Oh no. <laughs> Damon, I'm still thinking about the football team being canceled. That's like the first time <laughs> I've ever heard of like a sports team being shut down by a school. Usually it's the arts that's the first to go. Yeah, because the sports team actually makes the money. So <laughs> Yeah, so so God, how much did this sports team suck? <laughs> this it turns out the uh God, what was their fucking football team name? Turns out the uh, Wildcats or something, or was it Wildcats? In <laughs> I, I just assume it's the Wildcats because so many fucking tag teams are called the Wildcats. So it or turns so out the uh, Mystic teams. Falls football, the Mystic Falls High School football team, or the Timberwolves. There we go. <laughs> the Mystic Falls Timberwolves are fucking garbage. <laughs> They're so shit that it like the coach slash history teacher was he he took the history teacher job just to keep the football team alive and then when he died they canceled they immediately like relegated it because it just didn't matter (laughs) they benched that shit yeah god damn damon shows up and he makes a little lie that like oh you're gonna take me to your bedroom now huh because jeremy's like eating cereal or some shit and then he goes in and he takes her teddy bear and then just starts grabbing shit around her room (laughs) 
he takes her teddy bear and he's using it to like point at shit while he's giving off exposition about oh you know you don't know the real stefan i know the real stefan this stefan you know is just a phony stefan and the real Stefan, you know, he's a vampire. You know that, right? He's, he's real. He's real. He can be real nasty and vicious. He, he can be real nasty. He's playing around with the teddy bear, pointing at stuff and waving it around. It's very. He also nasty. like grabs some of her shit and leaves. It's like grabbing her bra, grabbing like photos off of her or mirror. I think this is around where it finally, it finally realized, oh yeah, they can, they do have reflections in this. I forgot. I, I, I thought they did have reflections before this. It's just they might have, and I just forgot because they re- they rarely bring attention to that fact, and that's oh, that'd be a bitch <laughs> to yeah. edit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It would be a nightmare to try and pull off the no reflection thing. So, uh, uh, yeah. to make this metaphor any less obvious, Stefan is seen at the Salvatore boarding house. With just all the bottled spirits, and he's just like chugging booze. He's just downing booze, and I'm just like, this is the, like real heavy handed on the vampirism equal alcoholism metaphor now. <laughs> it's just, you didn't think it'd be so, uh, so blunt with it. I, I don't know. I thought it was like you could, like, this was more of an applicable thing where it could be just about addiction in general. No, they're just making it about, it's like, yeah, no, he's an alcoholic. That's the joke. Alcoholism. That's the metaphor. Oh, yeah, baby. (laughs) That's the symbolism. That is, like, classic uh, Matt Buck film brain symbolism. (laughs) Well, at least I don't have to read my scripts and talk with a downward tone. No. No. (laughs) Hey, he's British. Leave him alone. Are you saying that I don't always have to say this every time? He's British. <laughs> it's okay. It's, he's allowed to. British. <laughs> British. <laughs> so, uh, Elena, under Alark Saltzman's advice, goes to talk to Jeremy. I, I think it was under, like, Stefan's advice, too. They both told him to talk to Jeremy. Yeah. Like, hey, talk to Jeremy if he's getting in on this vampire stuff. See what he knows, that kind of shit. She takes him to a random lake. And they talk about how she's adopted and, like, she kind of asks a workaround question of, like, oh, your essay about vampires is really interesting. Do you, what do you know about that? And he's like, uh, it was just a thing I did. I don't care. Also, don't you're adopted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, maybe it's just the Gilbert crazies or something. It's like, you're not crazy. What would you know? You're not You're not a Gilbert or something like that. And then like they just that. shove each other, and it's like, yeah, oh, okay. Playful. Also, fucking uh, Elena's wearing, like, all black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, Vicky died, even though the funeral was probably like... The funeral was off screen. <laughs> the funeral was off screen. And we're at oh, yet another geez. Founders Day party, and Stefan and yeah. Damon are there first. And yeah, then, because they were invited in, Stefan just immediately goes to Booze Town. He he's going to Booze Town. Immediately getting, he just starts grabbing shit-faced. drinks off of fucking platters and drinking them, and he's just walking like... through this party, <laughs> and it's just like, oh man, like you're you know teenager drinking, and he's just like, come on, man, I look like I'm thirty. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I look like I'm thirty. <laughs> They don't like. I don't even need a fake ID. I don't even need a fake ID. They don't even fucking ask. (laughs) They just look at me and go like, "Yeah, that's a fully grown man." (laughs) It's like, "Yeah, pick your poison, buddy. Pick your poison, dude. Fucking, you know, party it up in this house." (laughs) Around this time, a thought occurred to me: Wouldn't alcohol be the worst thing for Stefan to be taking? While, Well, while trying to avoid the temptations of drinking blood, alcohol thins blood out. But I heard in, like, some materials it makes it last longer because it's thinned out. Sure, but he's trying not to drink blood, and he's doing the thing that completely just destroys your inhibitions. Well, maybe he's on, like, a blood hangover. I don't know. (laughs) Blood hangover. Oh, my God. (laughs) That's a thing, I think. I don't think it is. I'm saying, like, wouldn't he have less control of himself and be more prone to violently attacking people if he was drinking blood? So Elena shows up at the party, and so or does Matt. Alcohol. So does I'm Matt and her mom, and uh, Tyler. And mom. Tyler's there because Mayor Lockwood's there, and he steals some Jack Daniels, and Matt opens and starts chugging that shit. <laughs> 
Tyler, your dad's going to put you in the goddamn north and south position. What are you doing, man? <laughs> north and south position? Like an MMA thing. I don't oh. know. I don't entirely know what it means, but I just, I've heard it. I heard the term north and south position. I think that's like when you're on top of them, but you're facing the opposite way or something like that. Uh, north south position. Oh, it's like, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> like, yeah, you're. <laughs> Okay. I think it's this one, yeah. I think you might have been right on it. Just describe MMA to me. <laughs> okay, like I'm Oh, it looks to like you're Okay, so there's a guy in a blue gi and he is just like trying to kiss all over this dude's tummy. And well, then the, the dude, dude in the the dude in the white gi is on the bottom and he's kissing his tummy too, but he's like trying to push up on him. And the other guy's yeah. got him by the pant leg. <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect position to get just kneed repeatedly in the skull. If that's legal, I think I don't know. Depending depending on your depending on the uh, on the if it's, val the, if it's uh, valet like, chudo rules, you don't know what shit's going down there. Yeah, depending on the rule set and the promotion, it is entirely likely you're just gonna get drilled with knees in that position. Elena finds Stefan and he is boozing it up, and he's drunk as fuck. <laughs> And he wants Elena to dance with him. And he's just like, no one else is dancing. And it's just like, well, the music's not right. And then he goes to the DJ and compels him to play 1901 by Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, wait a minute. I thought it was. I thought it was block party, but it wasn't block party because the guy started singing and it sounds like it's a fucking car commercial. And that's what that's what Phoenix <laughs> sounds like. <laughs> It looks like someone's going to sell you the 20, 2011 Subaru Outback. <laughs> like, yeah. like, that's what that's the experience I feel when I listen to 1901 by Phoenix. And he the likes all new, Phoenix, but it's just the all new 19, the all new 2011 Subaru Outback. Now with four wheel drive and the highest rated mileage and five star safety tests. <laughs> Michelin Michelin rated safety test because for some reason they do tires in restaurants and I don't know why. <laughs> it's I think it's like a I think like the restaurant thing was basically to get people to buy tires somehow. Well, are they gonna do eat tires at the restaurant? <laughs> like you drive to the restaurant and you need Michelin tires. And then they I guess. and then they fill your tires full of ice cream. I can't remember. Somebody made like that point about Michelin stars somewhere in like a video on Gordon Ramsay. Matt, Matt asks don't... to dance with Elena, and Dana, Damon wanders off to like flirt with Mrs. Forbes again. <laughs> yeah, and then like while they're chatting the about like just how, how this is a fun party, and she's thanking Damon for all the work he's done fighting the vampires. <laughs> Jeremy just shows up from the side. And he's like, "Hey, uh, Vicky died. Do you know how she died?" Did do you know can why you they found? Me, can you tell me about Vicky dying? Why was she buried? It's just really awkward. Then, like, after it's dancing a bit with Matt, Stefan wanders back over to uh, Elena. He's like, "Please dance with your alcoholic vampire boyfriend." <laughs> Get out of here, Matt! <laughs> Get out of here, Matt! I'm gonna fucking puke any fucking moment now. <laughs> Unless you let me dance with Elena. And then they dance for a bit, but he, like, pirouettes her into another dude. And the guy's like, what's your fucking, what's your problem, man? Like, if you can't dance, get off the fucking dance floor. And, and then we're in this, yeah. Stefan compels him to apologize after grabbing his coat. And then he makes him apologize again because it wasn't, it was kind of sarcastic sounding. And Elena's like, all right, you got, you got to lay off. You're acting a little weird, dude. Meanwhile, uh... uh Katy Perry song that's based on Your Love by the Outfield is playing and it's very jarring. It's very jarring. <laughs> it was not what I was expecting. It's following like two songs after Phoenix. And yeah. then it, just as just as the scene transition, like it, scene cut and now it's Paramore. And it's like, what the fuck? Damon's doing impressions of Jeremy with Elena. He's like, oh, do you know anything about Mrs. Forbes? Huh? <laughs> You remember Vicky? Like if I was distracted by Paramore playing. And Tyler talks to Matt's mom? 
And it gets ah. weirdly flirty because she starts, like, touching him. <laughs> Mrs. Donovan, that's a teenager. Yeah, that was weird. Also, also fucking weird now that I think about it. Tyler dated her her daughter. Yeah, that is this weird. This is fucked. This, this is fucked. I, I don't like Tyler. <laughs> I, you know, I Tyler, don't like Kelly. I'm the... I mean, Tyler, Tyler Tyler attempts to be like sincere with this with his with uh, fucking Matt's mom, and it's just like it doesn't come off as sincere. It just sort of comes off as bored. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't like either of these two. Tyler's a fucking shit Jeff, character. Jeff meets Damon at the balcony, and they kind of talk for a bit, and then he's like, "I know you're a fucking vampire, by the way." And then Damon's like, "You know I could kill you, right?" <laughs> just like, call him Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Uncle his Jeff. Name, his name's John. Is his name John? His name is John. I wrote I Jeff. earlier. I wrote Jeff the entire time. Wait, have you been calling him Jeff this whole time? Yes! <laughs> his name is John. <laughs> I am... I would like to apologize. <laughs> to... Point of order, his name is John Gilbert. <laughs> I would like to apologize to the audience of these hot idiots. Because apparently Uncle John... Is named Uncle John and not Jeff, and I just started calling him Jeff for some reason. <laughs> Why I didn't even notice until now. It's like, have you been calling him Jeff this whole time? John talks to Damon, and he knows that Damon's a vampire, and Damon threatens him, and they kind of laugh it off. And then as Paramore's playing, and he walks away, and Haley Williams is going, oh, 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 oh. And just Damon just runs back as fast as he can, breaks his neck, and breaks his neck and throws him off the balcony. <laughs> we were like, we knew we. I wrote his name as Uncle New Character gonna die. I didn't expect it was gonna be. When like, I first saw him, I was just like, oh, he's gonna die instantly. <laughs> You did not think it was going to be this immediate. <laughs> we started laughing so fucking hard. Because it's like the Paramore is still playing. This... It's it's even crazier because Paramore is playing in one ear and then in the other ear is like the actual like score where there's like ominous piano playing. Sorry, but it's just like, and it's like that. It's like, What's going on? What is happening with my ears? <laughs> it, just was, me up. it just was really confusing. <laughs> so uh, Jeremy confronts Elena over what happened with Vicky. And she, he, he kind of gets the idea that Elena's hiding something because she slips up. And she says, you know, whatever happened to whatever happened to Vicky, you know, we got to move on from that because she's dead now. And he's like, but she OD you know she OD'd. And it's like. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Whatever happened, so there was something that, other than the OD. Yeah, that's... Matt's, Damn, it's... Matt is going Elena. to step out with Elena for a bit because he needs some air, and Stefan's just vibing the whole time in the background. Getting boozed up. He comes out, and Tyler and Matt are... Tyler and Matt's mom <laughs> are kissing. Tyler, I almost said it's Tyler like Tyler. And Kelly. Tyler and Kelly are mis kissing, not Tyler and Matt. <laughs> Tyler and Matt making out would make more sense. And Matt just shows up and clocks him. And then Tyler gets up and, like, his mom gets thrown through a fucking table. And he's just on top of him, raining, like, on top of Matt, raining blows. And a large saltsman comes in to break it up. And so does Mayor Lockwood, who tells everyone to take off their shirts. <laughs> it's like, all right, all right, you got the TKO, Tyler. You did it. Good, good job. But next time, you got to make sure to take off your shirt. You got to take off your shirt or else they're not going to award you points. <laughs> Dad, what? What the fuck? Not fu weird. <laughs> Stop looking at me like this is weird, son. <laughs> Stop looking at me like this is weird. It's not. <laughs> this is in your best interest. Now take off your shirt. <laughs> not weird. <laughs> Matt is like sitting at a chair and the blood on him is the fakest fucking blood I've ever seen. <laughs> I was busy just noting how so much fucking happened in just a second here. We're like, Telly Donovan's making out with a teenage boy, and and then fucking fight breaks out. Just Tyler wailing on Matt, and it's like, what the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> you, just, you just look away, and we're doing something else, and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> 
right? <laughs> like, what the hell? When did this episode, when did this start happening? So Matt's okay. covered in fake blood, and so is fucking Matt's mom. She's got this big fake cut on her head. <laughs> she's got a cut on her forehead where it's like a line and then a drip, and me and Ash are wrestling fans. So we look at this and start laughing because it looks like... It looks like a, a bad a, gig job. <laughs> yeah, so there's a there's a practice for those of you who don't follow wrestling, which is called blading, where it's like so you take just like this little bit of razor blade. If you ever like see kind of razor blade. if you ever see someone bleeding in wrestling, it's real. Usually it's in real. their wristband, in their trunks. Sometimes they'll keep it in their mouth, but there's a tiny razor blade, and when the camera's not looking, you take a tiny cut on the top of your head. And it mixes like, with the sweat, and you just start looking like you just got a crimson mask of blood it, coming down your like face. A, it's coming like down your face. They cut a tiny piece of the razor blade, and then you just kind of cut along the lines of your forehead. And that's what it looks like they did to the actress. <laughs> and it's like it's fucking well, gig. And then they like switch it with a prosthetic, and it just looks really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so bad, it's so stupid. Uh. Uh, Damon is just, Damon just sort of finds a drunk, like a drunk half awake Stefan. And he's just like, <laughs> do you want to hear the bad news or the worst news? And Stefan's like, I don't want to fucking talk to you right now. I'm, I'm busy. I don't want, I don't want news. I want booze. And he's like, I killed Elena's uncle. <laughs> what? I killed Jeff. John. Jeff. <laughs> John. <laughs> John. I, I killed John. <laughs> And his Jeff hair is my dad, who is in the other room sleeping. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and Steph was like, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> I, kill, I killed John Gilbert. What? Then he kind of like follows for a bit and then he smells blood and crying. And he finds like Matt's, fa- Matt's mom and she's like sitting in her chair with her fake ass head wound and she's crying. <laughs> fake ass gig. And Steph is like, are you okay? And then he just sort of stares at her while she's bleeding. And he's like, can I finger your head hole? <laughs> your forehead. Yeah, can I finger you like your weird forehead hole? Your forehead wound? <laughs> and she's like, what are you doing? And Steph is like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't... He's like, he's like smearing it around her forehead. Because in a weird Simba. way, like... <laughs> No. <laughs> Simba, exactly. <laughs> like that. And then he's like, I, uh, "I'm sorry, I'm oh, I'm gonna go now." He's and then got, he like, now he's got... then he wanders into the yard, and then he like looks at his hand, and it's covered in blood. And then he looks again, and he's like, he's "Got two fingers covered in blood." I'm gonna lick my finger. Yeah. <laughs> he's licking off the blood, and it's like he's so tempted. It's like you think you would have tried to eat her there. Can I clean your? Can I lick your forehead? (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) make it real weird. (laughs) Funny. It's okay. Oh, we'll disinfect it. I want to lick your forehead. Don't ask why. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) (sighs) We. What's next? I can't. The mayor brings a giant bell and tells John to. I I legit wrote Jeff and tells John to do a speech like, like commemorating the founders while yeah the favorite son is back or something and it's like John it's eyeballs John Damon in the crowd the whole time yeah John's alive and this John's alive like... and Damon's like what the fuck what the, what the fuck, fuck? <laughs> I, I wrote that down. I was like what the fuck <laughs> he's back and it's like it, it's eventually it's like he's wearing one of the rings that like a lark saltzman has that keeps him from being killed by vampires including getting your neck snapped <laughs> by a vampire and then thrown That's off a balcony it, by a vampire <laughs> yeah you, if you get thrown off if you get defenestrated by a vampire but you wear this ring you you'll will, come you back will, no to life to duh stupid <laughs> don't you know how this works <laughs> <laughs> fucking these rings these rings are stupid <laughs> <laughs> dumb so if you get shot by a vampire that bullet that bullet won't hurt at all Damon crosses the room to a large saltsman and he just sort of like talks about like you know uh John Gilbert brother of fucking Graydon Gilbert Dr. Of Grayson the, Gilbert Gr- Gr- Graydon Gilbert Grayson Graydon Gilbert, Gilbert. <laughs> Gr- Graydon Gilbert 
is is the guy on the Vampire Diaries version of Hive Mind. <laughs> Vampire Hive Mind. Uh, Vampire Hive Mind. So Grayson, like brother of Grayson Gilbert, you know the one who made the Gilbert rings, and it's like you. Why and, are you? And, why are you acting like and, you knew and, that already? And fucked you and fucked your wife and, and fucked your wife. And gave birth to Elena. Isabel, you know, the your wife that I fucked and then broke, then turned into a vampire. <laughs> wait, like, it was Isabel? Oh, shit, wait, that's... I don't know, wait, I think he just delivered her kid. That's what it was. So I'm like, stupid. Well, <laughs> I'm just trying to say, it's really weird that, like, Damon's lecturing Alaric Saltzman about the Gilberts. When he already knew about the fucking Gilberts. You think he'd know, um, you think he would have known this and shit. And you think that he would have checked for the fucking ring before breaking John Gilbert's neck and throwing him off a balcony. You think, you think he would have seen the ring and been like, huh, what's that? What's that, huh? That looks familiar. But that's just, just really weird writing, honestly. That is very weird writing. This episode is weird. Stefan runs into the guy he ran Elena into and compelled. And he's like, oh, you got no woman now with you, huh? Well, huh. And then he throws a punch and Stefan catches it and breaks his hand. And he's like, Sorry. what are you? And Damon's Sorry. making a, and Stefan's making a face. Jeremy comes home and he's feeling all weird. So he just starts digging through Elena's room and finds the vampire diaries. <laughs> They're back. They're back. It was behind a painting of a horse. Of course it was. <laughs> of course it of was. Of course it was. A horse it was. Of course it was. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts reading her di- vampire diaries TM. And it was like, behind the painting of a horse, of course, of course. Ah, uh, yes. Mr. Red, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, put- he's having this big revelation. And when Elena leaves the party, she sees Stefan over the guy, and he runs off. But the guy's alive. He just got his shit punched in. He's, and just, then, got, he's just got his arm broke. And, and then compelled that he's a little dumb baby, and he fell. <laughs> and fell over, yeah. Tyler's dad pulls Tyler aside, and he's just like, "That you, you need to stop making our family look bad. And he's just like, I, it's okay, Dad. I'm sorry. I was drunk and emotional. And it's like, next time you take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> put him in a guillotine, goddamn! If you put him in a guillotine choke, goddamn it! None of this fucking pussy shit about like punching. No, we gotta. We do submission holds in this family. <laughs> no. He just smacks him. He backhands him, if I recall, actually. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! In front of everyone else, weirdly, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, actively beat your son in front of people that's matt is getting his mom's shit and packing it up and he's gonna throw her out of the fucking house and she's like crying like you can't do this no i can change i can change like get out mom you suck i'm done stop kissing teenagers it's weird it's weird (laughs) it's weird and you need to go (laughs) this is supposed to be a pretty like sad little moment here and like she sucks. And she needs to go to rehab. <laughs> she sucks. She needs to go to rehab. This is a win for Team Mad. Matt, Matt's Team not Matt, having any more of this abuse. Team Mad is not having any more of this shit. He's had enough of this fu- in his fucking life. He wants, like... He's done. He's done. <laughs> like, she can fuck up her own life on her own terms. He's not, He's he's had enough. As the party's, like, clearing up, John confronts Alaric Saltzman and Damon. And... <laughs> He just, like, lists off the plot, <laughs> like, about the tomb and the vampires and Damon, Sal- Damon Salvatore and Stefan Salvatore and the fucking, and Catherine. And, and, and then <laughs> Damon asks him, and how do you know all these things? And then John goes, how do I know? He goes, like, he goes, how do I know anything, Damon? <laughs> How do I know anything Damon is? <laughs> it's such a great line. It's such out a of great context. line out of context because it's just like, you're just reading the script. <laughs> it's just you reading the script at that point, yeah. And I think he's implied that, like, he's a vampire hunter, but he also works for Isabel, maybe? Yeah. I think. Maybe. <laughs> and then he just leaves. Yep, he's just gone. And that was weird. 
John just read the script. Jeremy's sitting in a gloom corner when Elena comes back, but he doesn't confront her. And Elena heads to her bedroom. And then Stefan's in the mirror. He's there. And Stefan the, jump scare. Stefan jump scare. That's rare. Bit, very rare is to get a Stefan jump scare. And he's like pale. Like and he's like about to break down. And he's just like, I'm sorry, Elena. I, like, I, like, I, you know, I drank human blood and now I'm, I'm freaking the fuck out and I'm losing control of myself. And I want to be honest with you. So I'm telling you this. And oh my God, I don't know what to do. And Elena's like, I'm here for you, Stefan. Don't worry, I'll support you. And she gives him a hug and squishes his face <laughs> in her shoulder. He gets like a squishy face. Like, mm. <laughs> his face gets so squished up against her arm. It, it, it takes me out of the moment. Because it's like, <laughs> oh my god, he's so squished. So squish. Then he goes Stephen. back to the Salvatore board house. And Dave is just chilling there. And Stefan just is like in a weird like like glare. He's, he's in a haze. He's in a haze and he's pale. And just Damon's like, ah, shit. Well, uh, good night. <laughs> leaves I'll, a half drank glass of blood. Have some blood if you want it. Haha. <laughs> and then he just like looks at it and then he drinks it. And then in the my head, ends. I wanted it to be. Yeah, that's the end of the episode. But in my head, I was like, it just turns out it's just like a like a glass of like cranberry juice with like a lot Got of. You pulp. The o- it's ocean spray, baby. <laughs> Super pulp ocean spray. How do you like that pomegranate juice? <laughs> oh man, pomegranate. That actually doesn't sound too bad. No more pomegranates. No, 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 no. No. Pomegranates. (laughs) This episode was weird. (laughs) This was a weird episode. I don't know what got accomplished here besides, oh yeah, John showed up. John showed up and then he left. (laughs) And he knows the plot and he died. But I have no idea where the season, like... And we're approaching the season finale, and I have we're, no idea where we're going. <laughs> we're like, what, five episodes left? Or three, yeah, but four? there's not an end game. <laughs> My God, it's, yeah. Like, the fucking, the fucking Stefan's night, the off fucking... the wagon, and Jeff is there. John, <laughs> not Jeff. He's not Jeff. John, how, did, John, how do you get an even less generic name out of his current generic name? I'm sorry, I just thought his name was Jeff. Why did you mean <laughs> Hold oh on. Oh, my God. When, hold on. I got to go through my notes. John, 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 John. John Gilbert. John talks about Jeremy. John doesn't want them to something, something. John, 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 Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like halfway through. You've completely decided, despite your actual notes, that his name is Jeff now. His name is Jeff now. <laughs> <laughs> God, what the fuck is happening to me? <laughs> like, <laughs> My God, that cold really fucked up your head. I, I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm sorry. I think I'm having like a, I think I'm having like a, a conniption or something. <laughs> having, having a stroke. I'm having a vampire stroke. The vampire stroke. The, the vampire original. stroke. Oh, the songs are "You and I" by Black Mustang. Yeah! Exclamation point by the Golden Dogs. 1901 by Phoenix. They were in Gran Turismo. I remember that. Mm. <laughs> White Knight by the Pastels. Black Mustang, I think, was in the last episode, too. I think so. Yeah. Use Your Love by Katy Perry, which is a cover. Yeah, it's a cover of, of Your Love by the Outfield. Yeah. I mean, I like the Outfield more, but yeah. Yeah. Brick by Boring Brick by Paramore. I'm a big Paramore fan, so hey. Yeah. Hey, hey, girl! By the Virgins. <laughs> I feel like they're was they not here before? I feel like they were. What do you mean you're moving on by the Airborne Toxic Event? No, no. Does this mean you're moving on by oh. the Airborne Toxic Event? Oh shit! Sorry. Also, another uh, another band I think we've heard before. To be your lost JPEG by the Morning After Girl. <laughs> <laughs> <Not JPEG. laughs> okay, to be your lost by the Morning After Girl. So a lot we don't recognize, but more songs or more like bands we recognize this time. Or yeah, act. there's there's there it's it it's a lot of indie rock. And then like a Katy when, Perry song. Uh, like apparently that stuffy ass DJ that De- that Stefan Capel had some fucking indie rock in there. Yeah. Uh, let us know if you want to read AI generated Vampire Diaries fan fiction. We will gladly do it. We will gladly do it. 
And if you can think of a prompt, we'll do that too. Make it as stupid yeah. as you want, like uh, Damon buying a copy of Cool Borders 3 for the PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, if you guys have if you guys have a prompt for this, we'll do it. We'll, we'll try read to make it out. sure that we... We will do it as Vampire Theater as an ending segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is stupid scenarios that it comes up with. And then it'll just bring up characters that haven't been introduced yet. And it's like, who the fuck's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, well, you can find us on pretty much anywhere you can get a podcast. We're on YouTube you as well. YouTube. These hot idiots. Pretty much anywhere hey. that you can find us. You can find our Tumblers, uh, Mega Fighter Free for Free, and Ash Nightshade. I've been forgetting to like post advertisement for it, but I haven't seen you been posting advertisements for it either. No, I'm just ranting about Doctor Who Love and Monsters being a completely underrated episode that people were just not ready for. Uh... I don't remember anything about Love and Monsters. <laughs> it was the one with the Absorbaloff, with the big fat green alien that was made by a kid who won a contest. And it's just it's a and it's an episode that pretty much said that obsessive and parasocial fandom is bad, and I guess in twenty like two thousand nine twenty ten people were just did, not did people just like not, not like that. <laughs> people were not wanting to hear about obs- like just a character. They really didn't like the fact that the villain was a caricature of obsessive like fandom. And then the Sherlock and then Sherlock happened. <laughs> and then Sherlock happened, and it's like ah shit, you know. Stephen Moffat, not my favorite writer, but yeah. he was on point sometimes. Just sometimes. Well, well, I think it was more like Russell T. Davies was the one who wrote. Was Love it Russell Monster, T? Was like it Russell T. Davies? I thought Moffat was, was like in a. I thought Moffat was Moffat still on wrote on board. For Doctor Who, but I, he didn't write Love and Monsters. Oh, okay, I thought he was still on board. That's that's all. I think he was. I think he was about to take over. But like Russell T. Davies, at least knew to balance it with the idea of fandom as being like. You like the thing, but you don't make it your entire life. God, fucking Doctor Fu, Doctor Fu, <laughs> Doctor Who, <laughs> is just full of so many weird, like forced metaphors. If you think about it, oh yeah, <laughs> it's like this alien is the uh, criticism of right. the oc- of like the occup- occupancy of America during the Vietnam War, and it's like that's weirdly specific, but okay, I guess you'll try and sci-fi that. All right. <laughs> Good luck with that. This this is a uh, a criticize this is a criticism of the British prison system in 1975, and it's like, right, okay. This one's Brexit. <laughs> this one's Brexit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next week, and as long as like nothing comes up. Yeah. Here's open. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, I guess. Is it this? <laughs> yeah, it's close to Halloween. Merry yeah, it's Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Halloween. If we don't have anything ready for Halloween. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> now the wait a minute, the horsemen are already up. They just threw Sting in the cage. They just threw Sting in the cage that Cornette was in. Sting has been tased by the horseman, but here comes RoboCop, Bob. <laughs>